Okay. It's a blustery day. Supposed to be upwards of 20 mile an hour winds today. But uh, time to go flying and have some fun. Okay, launching in a rotor. Notice the houses are in between me and the direction the wind is coming from. But no biggie as long as you have the right gear and you have the right skills. And don't try and pretend you got skills. Because <laughs> it gets ugly. Oh yeah. So basically you just need to be able to active pilot the glider. And keep the glider loaded no matter what. At super training you'll kite in all kinds of crazy conditions. Even offshore rotor right behind the sand dunes. So you will gain those skills before you ever actually leave the ground. Kind of cool. All right, so now, since we got some wind, just give it a little pop. Freaking dominator, baby. And I'm gonna cross wind launch. Ooh -wee. And I hold a little bit of pressure until I clear the rotor. Still holding pressure to kind of cancel trims because my trims are still up. So you always launch trims up so you have the brake range. Otherwise, it's like holding five, six inches of brake. Now that I'm free and clear, I'm not getting rocked around too bad. Now I can take the second to pull my trims back down. And of course, look up, check your glider, make sure you don't have any tangles. Although I know I don't have any tangles because you would feel it if you have super skills. That's a whole other thing about having super training and developing real actual skills into reflexes is you feel something before it's a problem. So pretty rowdy day. That's quite a bit of wind for desert mountains, middle of the day. The main concern, you know, if you look around, let's just kind of show you, like look at the gray bottoms to those clouds over there. And you kind of see some activity below the clouds. I'm not seeing any direct Virgo where you see rain falling from the clouds. It hasn't touched the ground. Maybe a touch. Yeah, it looks a little, but that's a little funky. It is downwind of me, but in the desert, you got to be super, super careful if you see Virga or uh, serious activity like that. Check the radar. Make sure you know what's going on. I mean, you can fly right through a gust front on a flat top and a dominator, but obviously you're going to do everything to try and avoid such conditions if possible. But crap happens. You could have a perfect blue sky sunshine day with zero wind at all and then wham! So you have to be prepared for anything. Hope for the best, work for the best, do your research, check your wind but make sure you're prepared to deal with absolutely anything when you leave the ground. So Dominator, freaking awesome. The uh, This is a 16 square meter, bam, look at that. Big old collapse, just pops right back out, doesn't give a crap. Notice I didn't change direction and didn't lose any altitude. So here we go again, boom, collapse, and I just keep on flying and don't give a crap. Remember, this is a 16 square meter. This is an extra, 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 extra small. Now notice I'm getting jacked here, getting rocked around. Uh, look at the wind direction just changed. So now that violent wind is coming over the top of that mountain. So I'm gonna get some pretty severe rotor. Bango, bango, boing. But this is dumb there, who gives a crap? I'm on a 4XS, baby. With a flat top. So flying in turbulence like this, I'm just holding gentle pressure. You don't want to be holding pressure. You don't want to be holding a lot of brakes. Just hold gentle pressure, just as normal, but just be ready if there's a drop in pressure or if the pitch changes that you're ready to fix it instantly uh, with active piloting. Now, that's really easier said than done. <laughs> Hey, check this out. Notice I am going down. Boom, there we go. And got slammed there right there pretty good. I was right there. I was full throttle and descending. So I was right in the rotor. And some that's some pretty crazy air 
when one of the most powerful paramotors in the world is full throttle and you're going down. <laughs> and so the, uh, but the nice thing is sink doesn't go all the way to the ground. As soon as the air hits the ground, it goes sideways. So if you did sink all the way to the ground, the good news is, is you should go parallel to the ground once you get lower. Now look at me, I'm skyrocketing up. I'm getting some severe lift. I mean, I knew it was gonna be wild today. Just look at the clouds, pretty funky. And it's been stormy lately. So I'm kind of coming out at the first possible chance. I had people that wanted to fly with me, but I did not have any of the newer people fly with me in such conditions. I'm not worried about the conditions for myself personally, but the uh, it's actually kind of good fun experience. So up and down, now notice I just switched directions again completely and now I'm facing off this. Oh, now look again. I just switched at the mountain. That's a change in direction. It's really getting butt wild here. Yee so now I'm going back this way. And so you watch your track, the direction you're tracking across the ground. If you're, it's the direction you're tracking across the ground that tells you which way the wind is coming. So if all of a sudden I have to turn right in order to track straight across the ground and not go sideways, then the wind is coming from that direction. So if you're being pushed to the left, you just turn back to the right until you're going exactly straight across the ground. Which, right now, I'm still crabbing, so let me go straight into the wind to show you the wind direction. And that's the wind direction right there, going straight. So the wind is coming directly over that mountain, and the wind is very, very strong. Notice I'm going very, very slowly, and I'm on a 4X as Dominator. It's an adventure. That's why I took such a small glider, even though I'm up at this altitude. Because I knew it's gonna be butt wild. They're calling for up to 20 mile an hour winds. And of course, wind coming over those uh, mountains and stuff is gonna be butt wild, crazy, rotor, trashy air. Again, Dominator country, baby. Now, I'm not suggesting you go fly in this naturally on purpose, but there we go. Hit some sink, that was a low. Nice one does all kinds of crazy things in crazy air like that. But it's just matter, it's just like at super training where you practice glider control until you can keep that glider above your head no matter what. Even if somebody comes by with a paramotor and blasts 200 pounds of thrust straight into your wing from 10 feet away, you need to be able to maintain control of that glider. So if you have that skill and you build that reflex, then it's not that big of a deal. It's just a matter of keeping the glider open. Obviously, if you're a new pilot, it might be lack of experience and understanding of it. it might scare the crap out of you a bit, but yeah, that's some gnarly air there. Woohoo! We're getting some bow dongle air. Let's see if we can get some less air a little bit lower. So there's some good wind up there, but now the wind has switched as it usually does when you come around this point. And so I'm now getting going this direction basically, right? That's directly into the wind. So that's a much better direction, but notice how slow I'm still going. That was pretty funky, so it was, the wind was switching back and forth, going all over the place. Of course, that's pretty common in a rotor. You get really violent, wild switches in direction and changes. So you gotta be ready for anything when you fly. See here to the last second. So I got my crumple zone. And bingo. Bring it around again. High wind glider control. And bingo. Set her down in the wind shadow. And there we go.
That's how you deal with a gust front, crazy, funky, butt wild air. And now we jump on the glider quickly and get her balled up. So we kept on flying and we just worked it in until we kind of got a hole and then we landed it in the safest possible manner. Not where we wanted to land, but where it was safest to land. And bingo! That's some butt wild air! But that, you gotta be prepared for everything. The, uh, that is pretty wild. Now, could I have landed that in the other spot? Sure, yep, probably would have been fine. But again, it's, you know, you're, it's about minimizing your risks. Booyah! That was but bud.